News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. Quite a stormy time of it. If we can take a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. Live look outside. We've got some calmer weather now here in the Fargo Moorhead area, and we will continue to see the conditions improve as we head through the overnight hours, at least here in the Fargo Moorhead area. They may go downhill for points off towards the north as we see uh, some strong and uh, gusty winds continue over parts of the area. I do have some good news to show you on the uh, radar here in, in just a moment, but uh, first, that live look outside on the CorbinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Again, improving conditions. We saw some rather stormy weather here earlier this evening here in Fargo-Moorhead area. Those rains have cooled us down to 63 degrees. Winds out of the south and southeast at 16 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere, mostly in the 60s, some 50s across far northern Minnesota and Bidette and in Roseau. Cloud cover, we'll get to that in a moment. Winds, they're variable depending on the storms. There's all kinds of wind directions out there. Those winds are strong and gusty, especially in and around those thunderstorms. A lot of cloud cover out there. And underneath those clouds, we are seeing still some showers and some thunderstorms. The good news is the Northern Valley Severe Thunderstorm Warning, that has been canceled. The other warning continues for our eastern counties. And that is for this area right here. Kind of hard to see with all the rain out there, but we'll continue to see that push off towards the uh, north and northeast as we go through time. Not a very strong, fast forward speed lifting off towards the north. May see more warnings off towards the north, up towards the Faustin area, Midgey area, Park Rapids, Wadena. You're seeing some strong and gusty winds, and this will continue to lift on off towards the uh, north at a pretty good clip. Off towards the uh, northern valley again. Some strong storms up in this area. This blue box, this a severe thunderstorm watch, it continues until 1 o'clock. And again, here's that warned line of storms, and that continues to make its way slowly off towards the northeast. The forward speed has really slowed down. And again, the warning up here, that has been canceled for the Northern Valley. So that's some good news, but you could still see some very strong and gusty winds. In fact, could see some winds still gusting 45 to 55 miles per hour in some of these storms and some strong and gusty winds and a lot of lightning with these storms across the far northern valley from Lake of the Woods County all the way through Roseau over towards the Greenbush area, the Pembina Cavalier area, and even points off towards the west that they continue to develop. So a lot of stormy weather out there. We've seen a lot of damage reports out there. We went over a lot of those damage reports earlier in the telecast. And off towards the south, saw some damage in this area, Eric Whitehill has made its way back home. Zooming on out the entire region, these uh, severe storms stretch all the way down into parts of eastern South Dakota, northwestern Iowa, and those will continue to slide off towards the east. Tornado watch to the south, that's about uh, ready to expire. I believe that expires at uh, midnight. Severe thunderstorm watches off towards the south and several severe thunderstorm warnings in those regions. For us, closer to home, as we head through the rest of the night, we'll continue to get these storms on out of here and they'll continue to rotate up off towards the north, and we'll see the uh, temperatures dipping on down into the 50s in many locations, hanging on to the 60s in the Southern Valley. As we head through the day tomorrow, we're gonna start off with mostly sunny skies, and later on in the afternoon, a chance for a few isolated showers in the valley. High temperatures across the north, 70s, some 80s across the south, and we'll see uh, some sunny skies across the southern two-thirds of the valley. We'll start off the day in Fargo in the low 60s by lunchtime into the mid-70s. And by later on in the day, we'll see those temperatures warming on up into the middle 80s. Picture of the day is some gorgeous Mamatis clouds in Litchville. These are from last Friday's storms. Thanks to Lori for sending those in. I'm going to use that as the background to our seven-day forecast. And we do have some better weather as we head through the next uh, several days. Here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, some sunny skies as we head through your Wednesday. Maybe a few storms north, then a chance for a few showers and storms Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Father's Day Sunday. And along with that, some cooler weather on Monday. And I've got a, a brand new mic. I've been talking for a while on the microphone I have, so they, they gave me a new microphone. I think The voice is strained, the batteries are drained, but yeah. you've done a great job. Thank you, thank you Robert. It. You did too. Nice well, filming. And thank you. In fact, we have a...